Um, I used to teach right here at Parsons School of Design in the master's program, Strategic Design and Management, number one design school in the United States. I was invited by an entrepreneurial group called the LEAP program to come and talk to these grad students just about my experience as an entrepreneur, highs and lows, find out what it's really like to be an entrepreneur. You're paid for your judgment. You're paid for making good decisions. And good decisions are not always the obstinate. We will not put anything out that's not at 100%. Sometimes there's a pragmatic decision of, you and I know that it could be better. Say we did proper testing or even just, we just kind of instinctually know that people will like this. They may like it better at 100, but this will launch on time and that's worth X number of dollars. And those dollars could then be reinvested. Fundamental definition of a business decision is trade. Like, trade-offs. Trading perfection for timeliness or cost. So you have to be able to make that pragmatic decision, the business decision. Parsons School of Design. Master, yeah, master's graduates. These guys, at least these guys are about to graduate. These guys are in their first year. This is the program I went through and then taught at. Looking for jobs, talent around the table. <laughs> You should never do as an entrepreneur, in my opinion, if that's the role you're playing, if you're the entrepreneur in the room, is you should never um, ignore your instincts. I think instincts, but I think you should also be careful not to take them at face value. When I was young, I was really impulsive. And, and, and impulse can be good, that's why I made a love sack. Yeah. But I was so impulsive, like, oh my gosh, we're making money? We're making money in one store, let's open two, let's open five, let's open 10. Duh, why not? If one makes money, 10 will make more. But I think what I've learned is to maybe slow down. You can get religious about it, you can get superstitious about it, you can get scientific about it. Um, but instincts are real. And I think that uh, particularly for people that are entrepreneurially minded, they are incredibly powerful and incredibly accurate. Leadership and design innovation, sustainable business models, those were my courses. And you know, now, I, since moving back to Utah, I can't teach her anymore, I'm too busy, um, and I miss it a ton. To be honest, getting down here today was a pain in the butt. I don't have time to be here. At the same time, I really push myself to get out and practice what I preach, to get off the couch, support others, give back. Look, I learned entrepreneurship the hard way, the expensive way. I wish I had been smart enough to attend things like this when I was younger and learn from mistakes of others instead of uh, paying for them myself. But uh, here I am, so I, I try hard to um, carve off time to get out to these events, uh, share what I think I've learned, um, help others avoid some of the pitfalls that I've uh, fallen into, and hopefully give them a leg up. This program is controversial because it's new and different and you know it's it's got its own challenges and we're all skeptical of you know what do we get from this and I was look I didn't even need to do this once again this was me getting off the couch like one day I had the idea to like I could do I think I could do it masters like I, I don't need this for my job I didn't need a degree I picked up the phone ended up talking to JJ I end up here and I did this right and then I ended up teaching it was a great experience and, and the and now on reflection Sometimes you gotta let things play out before you understand where they'll really be.
Like I could hire an engineer, but what I really want is I want someone with a background like yours that can take this on, deal with all of the inputs, including like my, take my vision for this and go make it happen and get and, and help me find the engineers. Because by the way, I don't even have time to go find those guys. Entrepreneurship is extremely important to this group of students because this particular program is really focused on helping you have the skills to create things, to do things, to start from scratch, to make things happen. It seemed today that there, are, there were quite a few questions about judgment, about, you know, how do you know when to follow your gut versus, you know, go with the facts, you know, stick to your vision versus um, being pragmatic and, let's say, getting something launched on time versus getting something launched perfectly. These are tough questions. And I think uh, one of my key responses is, of course, every situation is different. And by the way, that's what you're paid for. You're paid to have good judgment. And sometimes good judgment is being that obstinate entrepreneur that will not bend from you know, his vision. Sometimes uh, good judgment means being pragmatic and making a good business decision and you know sacrificing your ego or your way or you know your vision for something that's more realistic something that's good for the group something that's better for the company subscribe to the vlog get off the couch make it happen and share it with a friend